wondered how to use words like big, small, huge, tiny, long, tall, or short? Well, in this lesson today, we are going to learn how to use these simple words in English. Subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications. Don't miss any new lessons. Hi friends, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to look at very simple adjectives that people end up using in their daily conversation in English. Adjectives are like big, small, long, short, tall or huge or tiny. So how to use these simple adjectives in English? Well, that's what we are going to look at. So firstly, let's have a look and understand the adjectives big and small. Now, when do you use this? When you are talking about general sizes, like, you know, general size of something, general dimensions of something, you end up using the words like big or small. Now, let's have a look at some examples here. We have big dogs and then we have small dogs. Now we all know that there are different breeds of dogs, right? So we have like big dogs like Labradors or Golden Retrievers or Mastiffs. They are big dogs. But on the other hand, we also have small dogs like maybe a Shih Tzu or a Pug or a Bichon. So these are small dogs. So when you are talking about big dogs, you will use the word big. Okay, because we are just talking about a general size of a dog. So I'm going to say I love big dogs more than small dogs because that's what I prefer. I feel that big dogs are a little more docile, a little more loving than the smaller ones. Okay, so that's how you would use the adjectives big and small. Another example for you is big house. Now there are people who have these big houses. So when you have to describe the size of a house, you would use the word big. You will say that I loved her big house. Okay, because the size of the house was big. So you are using the word big. Then we have small house. It's a small house, maybe just with two rooms and that's about it. So it's not a very big house. So you are using the adjective small. Okay, so don't get confused because people don't know when to use these words correctly. So it's very simple for a big size house, you will use the word big. And for a small house, you're going to say small. And then we have an exception. Well, the word large. Now, when you are talking about clothes or when you are talking about food, you end up using the word large, okay, a large meal or a large t-shirt. So, when you are talking about food or clothes, you end up using the word large. So, for example, I wear a large t-shirt or a large size t-shirt. So I'm not going to say I wear a big size t-shirt. I will use the word large because I'm talking about clothes. And then another one is small t-shirt. So I'm going to say small size t-shirt. So I wear a small size t-shirt. Okay, or I have to buy a small size t-shirt for my sister. So, I use the word small, but the only difference and the only exception is that you use the word large instead of using the word big when you talk about clothes or when you talk about food. Okay, so that's the difference between big and small and this is how you would use it when you're talking about um, general size of something. Okay. Now let's move on to the words like long, short, tall. How to use them and why do we use them? Well, we use long, 
and short to talk about length but to talk about horizontal length. Whereas you use the word tall and of course the opposite of tall is short when you are talking about vertical length. Okay, now let's understand the difference and let's uh, look at some examples as well. So we have a long queue. Now queue is a line, like for example, you go to a movie theater and you have to buy tickets and you see that there's a long queue. So it's a horizontal queue, right? Too many people standing in a line. So that's long queue. But there's a difference. You would not say it's a short queue. But you will turn the long into negative and you will use the word not so long. So you will say, ah, the queue is not so long. I think we can wait. Okay, so that's how you would use these words. And then there's another one. Now we use the word long to talk about horizontal length. But we also use the word long to talk about movies or to talk about time duration and also to talk about hair and even legs. So I'm going to put it here. So you end up using the word long for time to talk about duration. Okay, that's a long movie. So probably the movie is like uh, a three hours movie and it's just too long then you also talk about uh, when you're talking about the hair length you say wow she has beautiful long hair then when you talk about legs you use the word long okay wow she has long legs and then even words you know there are certain words and it just takes you back and you say wow that's a long word in English so yes, when you're talking about words and sentences, you would use the word long. So that's a long word. That's a long sentence. Okay. So make sure you use long with these things. Now let's look at the word short. Now you, as I said that you also use the word short for horizontal length as well as for vertical length. So not so long cue. The movie was pretty short okay so you're talking about time you're talking about time duration and I don't like short hair yeah that's not what I prefer I like long beautiful hair I don't like short hair so when you're talking about hair you can use the word short and now let's move on to the word tall so tall we use this word when we are talking about vertical length so when you're talking about someone's height, okay, that person is so tall, you use the word tall. You will not say that person is so big or that person is so long. That would be incorrect. The correct adjective to talk about somebody's height is the word tall. She's so tall, but he's so short, okay? A tall building. New York is full of tall buildings right so you would use the word tall when you talk about buildings a tall man he's a tall man and then you have tall trees now you when you talk about trees you use the word tall that forest is full of tall trees so again because they're like long trees but you're not going to use the word long that would be incorrect when you say they're long trees the correct word would be they are there are tall trees in that forest okay so that's how you will use these adjectives and now let's understand when and how to use huge and tiny here are the words huge and tiny with some examples so let's understand when and how to use the word huge when you talk about very big things or very big sizes then you use the word huge. So something which is 
very big. And when you use the word tiny, then you are talking about something really small, miniature. And now let's look at some examples. Huge elephant. Yes, the animal elephant is huge. So rather than using words like big, I would prefer using the word huge because elephant is really big, right? So when you are talking about something which is really big, you can use the word huge. So ele elephant is a huge animal. Then we have huge airport where the London airport or uh, the London Heathrow, the airport is really big. It's huge. So that's how you can describe the airport size. And then we have huge house. So we talked about big house. Now I am using the adjective huge, a huge house. Now big house is maybe a house with two or three rooms and a nice big size house. But when I say that she bought a new huge house, so this means that the house is really big and maybe the house has like around 10 bedrooms and like an amazingly huge basement and so on. So that's a huge house. Now let's look at some examples using the adjective tiny, especially when you are talking about very small little things. So a tiny mouse yes mouse ooh, it is a little creepy creature but then when you are talking about a mouse then you can use the word tiny or there's a tiny mouse in my house okay then when you talk about tiny vodka bottles yes so when you go in a flight and they serve you these miniature bottles so you can use the adjective tiny oh that's a tiny bottle that you have okay and then we have tiny chips now tiny chips is um, when you are talking about technology like when uh, like years ago when we had these computers they were really big and now if you see we have tablets and we have these small little computers so you can use the word tiny chips which has like a tiny motherboard or a tiny processor so everything is tiny and that's how you use the adjective tiny to talk about small little things. Okay, so these are very simple adjectives that you use daily. So this brings me to the end of this lesson. Start using them and I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care.